Here we have a previously non-healing TMA wound that has received multiple debridements prior to final debridement and integral coverage. The ideal wound bed is clean, contains healthy granulation tissue, and hemostatic. Integral bile layer matrix is a dermal layer skin substitute. After wound debridement, thorough irrigation and hemostasis, the Integra is prepared. It is taken out of its packaging and can be washed in saline prior to application. Its two layers are delineated, one smooth silicone layer and the mesh dermal layer. The Integra is placed over the wound smooth silicone side up. Quilting sutures are demonstrated here to help adhere the Integra to the wound bed and prevent seroma formation. Pipe crusting, which consists of making small slits through the Integra, can be used to allow fluid egress. However, it is not necessary given the mesh nature of this Integra and was not used in this procedure. The edges of the Integra are sutured to the wound using absorbable 4-0 chromic sutures in a running fashion per surgeon preference. Care is taken to suture ship to shore or from graft to wound, as seen in the near field. This is to ensure greater control with graft inset as the suture is being pulled through a fixed point. Excess Integra is trimmed off wound edges. A wound vac is placed over the Integra. Wound vac plastic is placed surrounding the wound to prevent maceration of healthy tissue. Black wound vac sponge is shaped and placed over the Integra. A hole for the vac tubing is cut and the tubing is connected to the wound and the vacuum turned on. Any potential areas of vacuum air links can be reinforced. The wound vac is to be changed three times a week until the Integra wound bed is ready for skin grafting. This is a look at the wound during the first wound vac change a few days after placement. It is recommended by the manufacturer to wait three weeks after Integra placement for skin graft placement over the Integra. Here is a wound after definitive coverage with split thickness skin graft placement.